How much DB did you play in high school? Uh, I actually played my whole sophomore, my whole freshman year, sophomore year, and half of my junior year, and then later in my senior year, it was just primarily quarterback. But you know, when the games got close, like in the playoffs and stuff, I still played safety. How quickly did it come back to you? Uh, you know, for the most part, it felt kind of natural. Still, you know, I was just trying to, you know, just trying. To, I consider myself to be an athlete, so I mean, I, like I said, it, it wasn't too big of an adjustment. Really, the only adjustment for me was just getting, just learning defense, getting the, getting the technology down, the terminology. You had a knack for, for making big plays on offense last year. I mean, do you feel like you can sort of take that knack to the defensive side of the ball that you can be a defensive playmaker for? This oh game? yeah, I definitely do. You know, I'm, I'm, I consider myself a ball hawk on defense. You know I mean, you know, I know I haven't really done anything now, but you know, in my head, you know, I still feel like I still have that same mindset, that mindset I had when I was in high school playing DB. You know, you got to be cocky out there on that island by yourself, and you know, you got to go for the ball. How important is that swagger to have, especially when, when you're switching positions like that? Uh, you know, you really just got to approach it as, you know, you, you know what you got to be comfortable with what you're doing. And, you know, it's really the main the main thing for me right now is I guess I just got to get back comfortable at doing it. Thanks, Marcel. Right. When when Coach first came to you, when when was it and how did he present this to you? Um, I don't remember exactly what day it was, but it was, let's see, days, what, Wednesday? It was probably, I think it was Monday when he first approached me with it. And then, yeah, his press conference Tuesday. So, yeah, it was Monday. You know, he just kind of told me that, you know, came and brought me the situation of the depth chart and, you know, told me about the incoming guys that were academically ineligible. And then, of course, Darren being kicked off the team for incidents and whatnot. But, you know, he pretty much just told me that. And he, he never really forced it upon me. He just threw the idea out there at me and told me to think about it and come back and let him know the next day. And, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I felt like, you know, I'm putting my trust in my coach. I'm pretty sure he's going to. You know, he's going to do what's best for me and what's best for the team. So it's my job to do what's best for the team. And I felt like that was, that was what was best.